i'll create one more uh, sequence called generate report okay so what i'm doing here arguments i will take in data table because uh, i want the table there only i can prepare the excel report right then the condition is like this gender this report should work for one day okay today if the excel file is there then it has to up and the rows right so today several times you will run so today if the excel file is there it has to up and the rows the excel file does not exist then it has to create the file and then with the heading and then add the rows so i would say in report path right so where is the data table where the report should be saved right and then uh, so this report path can be in and out argument because i would pass a report path so it can uh, put the report inside and return the same path okay so it can be in out argument so the same path will be returned or if, or even if you change the path inside that path will be returned outside so maybe what we can do while you pass inside you will pass only the folder when it comes outside it will come with the file name so we will do something like that okay so this is done now what i will do so there is excel application scope right so what i would do first thing i would check if this report path inside this report folder if we have a file name for today or not okay so first thing is uh, activities uh, i would say if okay i'll put an assign activity outside and say required so this is now done okay so required file path this is the path which i'm expecting okay i would say if some dot i go dot file dot exist okay of required file path right so we are checking if the file already exist or not right that's if condition if file exist what i'm going to do so anyway i have to do things with an excel file right so i would do this excel application scope outside and put this if condition inside okay so why i put this so here i would say required file path okay now what will happen so even if the file does not exist here there is by default it will create if not exist okay so it will automatically create the file so it can do the right range activity on its own if the file exists it will not create it so it will uh, just add the rows only okay so inside the application scope if the file exists i am going to do a up and range so up and range of i think it will be in sheet 1 i am going to up and the range of dt sorry in underscore data table that's it if you put up and range uh, sorry um, what is the second argument one second data table right yeah i think i put a string there okay i will change it the arguments i put string here that's wrong that should be data table so in underscore data table so upon range will actually uh, will check if uh, i mean uh, so wherever the table ends it will add this table towards the end okay else what i'm going to do i am doing i'm going to create a file fresh right so i'll say, i'll say right range so when you use up and range and right range make sure that you are using things from the excel activity not into the workbook activity okay so right range i have done this so if the file exist i am going to append the range and if the file does not exist i am going to write the range and when i am creating a fresh file i have to check this add headers as well otherwise headings will not be created so with add headers i have done and now i would save this and test this activity i mean test this sequence so add sequence generate report test right now so we have this generate report test 
So we have just, just generated a report, right? So I have drag and drop this inside. And for this, I have to pass the uh, uh, name, right? Of course, the file name as well. Uh, we have to set it as output argument also. It is an in-out argument, right? So whatever the uh, file name is generated here, the required file path, uh, this should be sent out, okay? So I would say uh, this required file path should be assigned to uh, after this, okay? Or after completing everything. So I would put an assign activity and say, I will So this is now done, okay? And now I'm going to test this activity, I would say. So this is the sheet I'm going to read, the student certifications, okay? And here I would use a read range of workbook activities just to, uh, just to make sure you understand this, okay? So here, the sheet name is this, and the workbook path is uh, copy as, path this right a range so no need to mention it can be blank as well so it will take the whole range and then output dt will be um, control k dt uh, certification okay i would name it like this and then for the arguments i would pass this dt certification and then so whenever we have an in argument, we can hard code a value, but for in out argument, you cannot do hard coding. Also for out argument, you cannot do hard coding. You get it clear, right? If it is a in out or out argument, so if there is somewhere that out word inside, then you have to use variable. You cannot hard code the value. So here I would say, add assign activity and say, uh, Control K, uh, report path, enter the, no, not this path, right? So, C colon slash test, right? And then here I would pass this report path. And then, so obviously the output after adding the file name will be returned here. So I would put a message box here just to check if the output is coming correctly or not. So here I would say report path. I would test this now debug file. So now see, it has created the Excel file called C underscore uh, in C test 44 2023, right? So I think Excel, there is some issue in closing it, but anyway, it has created it. I would go to that folder. So C test so we have the file but headers is missing right we'll check why okay finally we did right range with headers only but not sure why it is missing there okay maybe it did append range okay yes yeah now now we got the issue okay i would tell you okay it did the append range now because your file it was After created complete, yeah no no file was not created but in this excel application scope we mentioned create if not exist so, after this step itself the file will be exist so it will go to this uh, section where file exists so it will directly append the data okay so what we can do we can do it in a different way we'll put it outside okay if file exists then now I will copy this Excel application scope inside both. Okay. So if file exists, uh, I would do append range else uh, right range. Now try to understand how it looks like, okay? So now what will happen? First it checks the file exists or not. The file will not be exist. Now 
it will uh, in this excel application scope since the file does not exist it will create if not exist so if the file exists then it will go to uh, this part so here the file will not be created because the file exists already so here it will do the append range that's correct else so here i would uncheck this create if not exist because i don't want to create the file here uh, oh of course yeah it's fine so we can, we can create as well sorry so since the file does not exist here the file will be created and then data will be returned i would delete this file and test it once so that you will understand clearly okay the execution is completed we should see a message box yes it's there i'll open the excel file so we have the data with the headings that's correct right now i would rerun the same thing again so this time the file already exists right so this time it should have added another row instead of uh, writing it from scratch so you run the file again so things are done i'll open the excel file again we can see two rows now right it is happening here 